Every time. Love that intro song. Axel Boy, my man. What can I even say? Ah, love that song, man. Thank you for making it for us. <laughs> what's up, dudes? What's up, Steve, Gavin, Alex Smith, Dale, Trading Days. What's up, man? New patron, Trading Days. Welcome, brother. Jay Rook, Coffee Stain. How's everybody doing? Yeah. How's everybody doing? Right on. 32 likes, guys. 100 watching. We're just starting up here. Had a few connection issues. Hopefully they're fixed. We'll see. You never know. If you haven't yet, smash that like button. Please, guys, help get this stream out into the YouTube space. I think I see us on search. Hopefully, hopefully we're on search. We'll find out as we go along. Ah, there's some stuff going on today. We got some coins to look at. We're going to take a look at BNB, Binance coin. We're going to look at Chromia. We got some new players, although I'm starting to think they might not have a lot of trading history, so maybe not. We'll see what we can do. Chromia, CHR, Ellipsis, EPS. There's more. We got more going on. Let's get these tunes going. Need some pump jams. Ethereum, making. Headlines right now breaking its all-time high today currently trading at just under 2100 So far What is that a uh, 5% gain from its all-time high back in February? Not a huge no not even my bad like 2% Not quite in leg up territory at this point But it's got the potential here where is this coming from? Uh, who knows? But we can safely say that Ethereum and Bitcoin pairs. So Ethereum valued against Bitcoin. Looking hot. Looking hot. Last stream, we took a look at this. We uh, showed off even a patron setup we had going on from 0.3.1. Now reaching up to 0.3.5.6. That's quite a gain, uh, I believe. 20% here. What's important is Ethereum. Breaking through 035 resistance here with ease. Seemingly unfazed by the daily resistance back in March. Putting round, I guess, between it and Bitcoin. Getting exciting. Getting very exciting. This is not actually an updated chart. I don't know why I pulled this one up, but you know, might as well take a look at it. So Ethereum does not really have a ton of resistance above it in Bitcoin pair at this point. Uh, weekly. We see 043. I believe the monthly is around there as well. 04. These are the logical targets to the upside. Will Ethereum break 043? I don't know. Will it be able to top its uh, February high of 046? Mm. We'll see. I'd like to see this daily close above resistance here. Sure, intraday we're above it right now, but that's not enough. We have three hours and 16 minutes to go to close above 035. Things are looking pretty good here. Let's zoom it into the four hour. Previous four hour closed. Closed above. That's pretty nice. On the four hour, we see our moving averages coiled up. We have this high energy setup. We love to see this. Love to see this. Almost every time we get a setup like this, typically we're looking on the daily or higher. We see a big price movement. It's already happening. It's already right in front of us. Daily not quite as clean. That's all right. That is all right. Interesting here. The 20 moving average below the 200, the 50, and the 100. That is potential fuel. As the 20 moves up, crosses bullishly. With each of these, we could see ripple, a uh, ripple effect of this pump. So, Ethereum's looking pretty darn good. Um, MACD, momentum is up on Ethereum. Not quite eclipsing its March high, but it looks like it's on deck. This is a smooth, this is a smooth increase here. We had uh, three fake out days, but this is 
what I like to see here, man. You have the uh, these two tiny red candles that just got snuffed out by the bulls. So, wow. RSI is really reaching up there. This is uh, maybe not exactly what I'd like to see necessarily. Maybe not. But not the end of the world. Um, Still plenty of room there to push up towards earlier this year's highs. Uh, that could be actually pretty good. Pretty good. RSI is higher than its previous peak. All right, cool. So not, not really that bad. Really that bad at all. Check out this weekly too. This weekly candle is a monster. Absolute monster. Bullish engulfed right off the bat, essentially. Uh, closing with waning momentum here. We can see as these selling candles on the weekly have gotten smaller. Bulls have responded. This is... At this point, and I really rarely use language like this, this is a pretty solid breakout here. Uh, retaking the 20 weekly with ease. And Ethereum looks prime, doesn't it? It looks so prime. Weekly looking to roll over. This is the special. This is the spice here. Weekly MACD just waning momentum now, and it's already put so much ground underneath it. Pretty much any close here on this weekly is going to be pretty solid. Uh, <clears throat> that is very nice. It's very nice indeed. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I already told you guys to hit the like button if you haven't yet. We only have 300 watching. Uh, it's weirdly low energy today, I feel. But I guess 300 is pretty solid with 100 likes. Well done, guys. You are the best. I appreciate every single one of you. Every single one. It's actually like this dollar value as it continues to rise here. Let's flip it down to a smaller time frame. There we are. There we are. Wow. Okay. Um, quite a show. Quite a show. Uh, Ethereum breaking its all-time highs, which Bitcoin has not. A little bit more stagnant here, and we see that reflected. See that reflected in the Ethereum Bitcoin pair as it continues to rally. Bitcoin actually looking a little limp here on the hourly, but this is actually not a huge deal. I believe we're right above support. I should have had a chart ready to go. I should have. Should have, should have. I'm just going to pull up an old one. This, uh, <laughs> I don't feel like doing it all right now. Check out this guy from the other day. There we go. That's good enough. All right. Um, sitting right now, this is what's uh, catching my eye on Bitcoin. Potentially the third thin-bodied candle with a wick on top and bottom. With three hours to go, could, could close differently. But this is, in my mind, essentially three dojis in a row. This is not a common way. It's not a common close on Bitcoin on the daily to see, honestly, more than one doji period is a little unusual. Um, if we look back, maybe this is two here. Maybe that's two here. This is not a hugely common setup. You rarely see it happen. And so what I believe here, I believe here is that the daily is unlikely to close at this price. Unlikely. There we go. I got rid of that. You can see this better. That is very low volatility, especially coming off of, uh, March 31st's close, a very high volatility day, having traded up and down intraday and settling virtually back where it was. This is interesting. The top wick here on the daily is a little bearish leaning for sure, but something tells me we're not closing this way. Uh, if Bitcoin can hold, if it can hold. Last hourly's low wick, I kind of thought we were going to see more of a bounce off that. We can hold this low wick. Uh, we may see a reversal into the close here today. Kind of tempting fate here with this next candle. Let's take a look. Hourly is still selling off. Four hour showing actually quite a bit of uh, bearish momentum there. Five hour not quite as impressive. Six hour, same thing. 12 hour, waning momentum here since the 31st. So actually all of April, the 12 hour has been waning momentum despite price really not moving. So what we're gonna see here is a 
target for this 12 hour close. Right here. The previous 12 hour candle. Having opened at 58,726, that is where we'd like to see Bitcoin move back to over the next three hours. <clears throat> There's plenty of time for anything to happen. Um, these kind of intraday bearish and bullish engulfings ending up as a wick has been a theme, huge theme. We can see virtually every candle here in the last few days has had massive wicks, massive, massive wicks. Uh, Especially the last few days of March, 1st of April. This is unusually wicky. Usually wicky. Something tells me this is not going to settle up here. So that is my target for the end of this day. Looking for 58.7. Invalidate the bearish engulfing on the 12 hour. And close the daily green. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. The daily is still in buying momentum. This is a little odd. We see the daily showing increasing buying momentum despite the 12 hours pretty consistent sell-off or selling uh, or losing, I guess, waning of buying momentum. Spicy. There we are. There we go. This is what we're looking for. Hourly has touched the previous hourly's low. Are we going to get a bounce here? I hope so. Oh, wait. This uh, 58.5 was actually a a decent support or resistance previously but now support where did that come from did you go hold on here hold on I'm missing something I can sense it hmm, maybe not where it feels like there's something there I guess from all of this hourly consolidation, we can assume some support. Maybe it's from right here. That's not right either. I'll have to get back to you. I'll have to get back to everybody as I continue to warm up here. I haven't done too much charting today. Pretty much just been watching this F rocket move. Um, <laughs> watching it move. Let's add the previous high here. There we go. We see on the four hour, it's pretty cool. Or this is the one hour, but also on the four hour. For Ethereum, uh, a back test of that high already. This is unusually clean for me. Would not surprise me, honestly, to see Ethereum slow down here a little bit in USD. In USD value, while continuing to make ground in the Bitcoin pair, that would not be super surprising. What that would imply, perhaps, is slow selling here on Bitcoin, as we see. And uh, USD trading sideways and consolidating. The only reason I really think this is not really TA as much as it is, this is kind of the pattern we've seen here. We have a high, we had lower highs, and now just grazing above the previous high, we saw that on Bitcoin back in March. We had that exciting, oh man, new all-time high, and then kind of just petered out to a higher low. So what I'm looking for here is for these two, See, that's very similar looking. If I didn't know, yeah, if I didn't have uh, these watermarks on, I might not even know which charts these are as they look extremely similar. Extremely similar here. But Ethereum is trading above the 20 day moving average, and that is what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Currently, that's all the way back at this consolidation range in the 1800s, seemingly putting ground below. Man, that's beautiful. There we go. On the daily, we uh, we see Ethereum has overtaken its momentum, whereas Bitcoin has not. That might be putting uh, Ethereum in a little bit more bullish of a situation than Bitcoin right now. That is going along with what we see here on the Bitcoin pair. This may just continue out. Um, however, if I'm wrong, which it happens, guys, I'm certainly not always right. <laughs> Uh, if I'm wrong, we see Ethereum really push on the gas pedal. My sights are aimed up. Aimed up to 2,500. Easy target. It's just psychological. Uh, it's the 26... It's the uh, 2618. I can't speak today. Um, extension from our move back in January. And we see... Even higher, this is what where it gets nutty, is even higher. If we look at these more local FIB extensions, I'm going to place another one here because this chart doesn't have it on there. There we are. 
uh, we see numbers that are a little more exciting. 2,700, 2,800 lines up really well with what we're seeing from previous sell-off uh, fib extensions here. You see that uh, this move here and this move here, both suggesting close to the same area in the 27s, 28s, and possibly, possibly even as high as 32, 3,200. Pretty wild. That sounds huge, but in reality, that's really only, what, a 55% gain or something? Um, when you're tacking on $1,200 to Ethereum, it sounds like a lot bigger move than 55%, doesn't it? It really does to me. It is wild what is going on in this space. We're seeing a lot of coins make some moves today, and uh, let's let's continue on with those. There we go, Bitcoin holding that hourly low, it seems. All right. What's nice about this is this sets us up potentially for bullish divergence. We love spotting it. There we go. We have a double bottom here in the 15 minute. Yes, it's on the 15 minute. Don't get too excited. Um, with a, doesn't really matter. It's going to be divergence really either way. Uh, looking to be a higher low in RSI. That's a weak bullish divergence, but I will take it right now. Take it. Market Cypher on the 15 minute giving us the dot. Not quite there on the 30. However, we do. We do see that a different bullish divergence playing out here with a lower low on RSI. That is actually a really powerful RSI move. Um, barely able to rally. Sounds like a bearish thing, but for whatever reason in crypto, it plays out bullishly. Uh, without relief rallies, you do tend to get strong reversals when you break the trend. So that could be what we're looking at here. It's too early to call. Too early to call as virtually every time frame as we looked on uh, MACD is still in that selling momentum. I'm actually going to look a little closer here. Higher low on VWAP. Money flow just flipped negative on the hourly. That higher low. Uh, two hour looks uglier. Two hour looks uglier. These mid time frames are looking a little ugly on VWAP um, and money flow. However, money flow is still highly positive. So it is a little difficult to really trust them. I'm trying to find a time frame where the money flow is negative and it's actually very difficult. Seemingly impossible. There might not be a time frame below an hour that has a negative money flow here. That's a great sign, but this 30 minutes still looking really be. Uh, lower lows on our momentum oscillators on the small time frames. Negative money flow. Hmm. Hmm. Tricky. Tricky. We don't have signs yet of reversal here. I know we have support at 58.5 though. Where is that from? It's going to troll me. Is it like a weekly thing probably? No. No. Can't be monthly then. Jeez, where is it? I know it's here. This is gonna bug me. Maybe it's just this local? 5859, maybe. I guess we'll take it as a local. I won't even make that support. We'll just make it a local uh, reversal area from these previous 12 hours. I think it's, I really do think it's from, oh, all right, I'm moving on. Four hour, 12 hour, there we are. We see candle closes there. That can be, we'll just count it as that. I don't know. Didn't you? Can we get something? Can we get something? No, probably not. Wild. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. 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 When you invert the chart, this really does look like it wants to relief a little bit, doesn't it? It looks like it wants to paint out some kind of head and shoulders. 
This is upside down, so it'd be an inverse head and shoulders. But it really does kind of look like it wants to maybe tickle that 55.8. Hmm. Some shorter time frames are suggesting it, longer time frames aren't. I'm torn. I'm pretty torn. I'm liking what this price action looks like locally. I love what I describe as these cuts. They're like cuts in price in an uptrend when you have these steep incline sell-offs with no relief that break up. Those are very bullish. But we're not seeing on the shorter time frames yet, so I guess that means uh, the move just isn't really visible yet. That happens. TA is like, I came up with this analogy today. TA is like counting cards. Gives you probabilities, it never gives you certainties. There we go, I guess it broke. Ah, the, a new hourly candle just happened a minute and three seconds ago and broke lower. Womp. Womp womp. Buy it back up. Let's see if that 15 minute divergence played out. Nope, invalidated on the 15. Not there on the 30. Okay, well, we lost that potential. Like I said, it was the 15 minute. Not something we get super excited about here regardless. We do have a very low RSI here on the hourly. This could be a solid sign. All the way down to 35 here. We haven't traded that low on RSI on the hourly since the 25th of March, which would put our price all the way down here. So we are very likely to see divergence. It's gonna be here. Just don't have it yet. Don't you flip again. Don't you flip again, money. Stay up. All right, yeah, not a lot of uh, clues there. Not a lot of clues there. So let's let's just keep moving, I guess, right? Yeah. Please be wrong. Please be wrong. Just let everything run today. I'm I'm ready to get out of this sideways action. Um, zoomed in on Ethereum, an upside uh, target for our measured move here locally in today's price action, twenty one hundred thirty one. Really not super exciting, but that's. Pretty, pretty likely target at this point. Almost regardless of what Bitcoin does here. So it just keeps pushing up. All right. This is what it is. So let's take a look at some of these other random coins. I don't even have BNB pulled up. Oh, well. I was busy this morning. Okay, BNB. Oh, my. That's not BNB. It's an imposter. Five hundred watching. All right, what's up, dudes? Dudes and dudettes, welcome back. We have one hundred eighty-five likes. That's pretty darn good for five hundred watching. But if you haven't yet, go ahead and smash that. Help our stream gain visibility. Save my life from the ninjas that will come to murder me if I don't get enough likes. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet, we just hit thirty thousand subscribers. We gained six thousand in the last month. Shout out to Bitboy and Cryptoface for helping us out there. Uh, ridiculous growth. Love it. Come join us. We're live here almost every single day. I think I shilled anything. Um, Discord link is in the chat. Join us on Discord, guys, if you're not in there. 24-7 live stream. I had to take it down because our connection's being weird, but I'll put it back up after the show. Uh, tons of educational resources, live chat, and really it's just the best way to keep up with the stream. So hop in there. YouTube loves shadow banning us, and... Uh, Often, it is the only way to keep up with us. Get it out of the way as well. I don't even think I mentioned it. Patreon, guys, is the 2nd of April. Still great time. Excellent value. You don't want to wait to sign up for Patreon um, in the month. You just lose days and you pay for the whole month. Don't do that. Either sign up soon or wait till next month. Doesn't matter. Uh, we had a lot of people, a lot of people join us. Awesome to see people investing in themselves. Uh, Patreon is... Our little premium group. I hate those words. I wish I could teach everyone personally, but it's uh, I'm limited on how many hours I have in a week. And so that is what we do. Uh, Patreon daily publishes of trade setups, technical analysis, macro market, micro market insights, all kinds of goodies. We have small group seminars weekly with Q and A with myself afterwards, as well as patron nights, uh, one-on-ones, though those memberships sold out in like 10 hours yesterday. We're out of them at the moment, unless people 
end up canceling their membership or something, giving up their slots, then we may have more. There we go. Patron chill out of the way. Links are at the top of the chat. They're in chat, etc. So BNB, let's get back to the charts. BNB, new all-time high here. This is, we, we're seeing this kind of uh, slight higher high. Slight higher high stuff. We looked at it on Bitcoin. We saw that back in March. Ethereum potentially at that point right now. And BNB doing the same thing. We're seeing these highs back in February, March. And then just arguably the same high. Yes, there is a new high here on BNB. Absolutely. It was 340, right? Or 300, 348 traded up to... 350 right 356 that is a new all-time high that is a higher high however it's really kind of the same number uh <laughs> it's really the same price let's see that's a two percent gain that that's almost like attributable to slippage um <clears throat> this is why i was saying with ethereum i want to keep an eye out in dollar pair here as this is kind of a similar high it's just that yeah, one two percent higher than the previous high. You saw that on Bitcoin as well. So I'm anticipating or keeping an eye on it for other coins, such as Ethereum and BNB. But I mean, my, I'm I'm long everything, guys. I want everything to break up. <laughs> I don't want things to uh, have slightly higher highs and then chill out and go back to boring. But it's something we need to be aware of. We've already seen it. We're seeing it again. Let's uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I really want to see a significant leg up, significant leg up on these coins to really drive home these rallies. RSI on BNB on the daily, seventy, nice and low for crypto. People in stocks don't like seventy. I love seventy on crypto. Plenty of room there as you're retesting the high. Momentum still moving to the upside, gaining power. Let's check a look at this Ichi quick. I have a feeling it might have something for us. I, I hate trading these sometimes. It's a great, amazing tool, but sometimes it's just frustrating. Not much there. It's fine. Moving averages, let's see. Also, not a lot going on with our moving averages. Uh, the 20 sitting at 272, very similar to Ethereum. This move away from the 20, still bullish. Ignore all these things on here. This was a patron post a long time ago. Um, there we go, boys. This is what I was hoping for. There it is. I wish we would have caught this when we looked at it the other day. 12 hour got that bullish kissing going on. I've been pointing these out a lot. Not really as like a trading signal, but to show you guys, look at how consistent this is. This is a Tom Crown proprietary won't find this anywhere else. I don't think it's even considered technical analysis. It's not in the book. This is through my observation. I call this kissing. The 20 moving average was looking to cross bearishly. Price action moved away from it and it prevented that cross. And typically, we see a strong move to the upside when we get this. That's building confidence here for me on BNB. I could see a back test here at 311 as a possibility. But with this sign, man, We've gotten this before and seen 400% gains. I'm not saying that'll happen with BNB, but we... I don't know if I have any more consistent signal than this. So, takeaway here is start looking for these at home. There you go. It doesn't have to be the 20 and the 50 moving averages either. That's the beauty. It can really be any. Whenever you see a short moving average, look to cross a longer one. You know you have a bullish or bearish cross queuing up. If at the last second, the shorter moving average moves away, you almost always, high probability, I won't say almost always, high probability that you are going to get a strong move. Same happens in the reverse here. I just inverted the chart. There is bearish kissing as well. We haven't been seeing lots of that lately, but let's uh, keep that little tool, that little trick in your pocket because I can't even name how many times we've seen this happen lately and gotten the move we expect. You're right. 12 hour on BNB looking better than Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin's been waning momentum since April started. BNB has only been gaining momentum in April. 
teasing a loss of momentum here, but there's plenty of time with two, almost three hours to go to remedy to remedy that. I'd like to see a close above the previous all-time high. For me, that will be the signal. That will be the signal that BNB is looking to test a real new all-time high. Real new all-time high. Um, my sights are set at 500. 500 psychological number. We see it very often. There's one more that isn't on this chart, actually. 420, blaze it. Uh, we've seen 420 act as a psychological resistance and support very consistently over the last, I'd say, year. And so it's pretty much always going to be a factor. I like to turn these white as they're not true. They're not true resistances. They're really degens. I don't know, just degens doing degens. Our actual measured move. Our actual measure move is higher than both of these, though. We're going to take the high from February. We're going to select the lowest price after that high, and we see that the measured move puts us as high as 652. So this can get very exciting very quickly. Very exciting very quickly. And we really just need a little nudge here. So am I saying 652 tomorrow? Probably not. 652 seems likely. I don't have a time frame on that. Um, I think that 420 and 500 are going to be at least consolidation areas or places where people have orders waiting to take profit from lower. Um, BNB did retrace to under 200 before retesting its high here, and so that puts a lot of room for profit taking. You have to flush out those hands first. Flush them out so you can keep running. Let's look at this four hour quick. Four hour looks great. You rarely see this, but we see higher highs on the four hour as price has moved up to higher highs. Sounds like it should happen all the time, but oddly enough, it does not happen that often. So that is a great sign here for BNB showing strength into this high. Uh, on the one hour, we're seeing some bullish divergence on this low mixed with this wicking. The market rejecting lower prices. This could be a solid uh, indicator as well. BNB is looking pretty good. Pretty good. On par with Ethereum at this point. I'm going to set more alerts so I don't uh, don't miss a move here while we're live and I'm going through. We're about to do some S-Coins. About to do the S-Coins. Hey, Queen, you're not moving. What are you doing? Hmm. It's a little rejection for time. Yeah, 58.4, 58.3 below us could act as support. This is not in any way concerning me, to be honest. You're going to have to put a lot of ground below you on Bitcoin to get me worried here. We have this pretty much descending channel type thing. It's not going to fit perfectly. But what it is is that lack of relief rally. I prefer this kind of move to the downside than this. This, uh, to me, really commonly is going to break to the upside where this is hit or miss. This is not really, in my opinion, going to favor breaking up even though we did. Um, I like to see these uh, grinding down. It's the stairs down, elevator up concept. Yeah, BNB. Excellent. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. Shout out. I'm going to shout out. Again, you guys know I don't chill, but shouting out the uh, r slash cryptocurrency on Reddit. I like to shout them out. They uh, allow us to post our videos there. I spend time in their chat. Um, shout out to those guys. They're good dudes. If you haven't ever uh, checked out that subreddit, give it a look. Give it a look. Good guys. And I think I promised uh, his name was Champy. I don't remember what he changed it to, but shout out to you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Who's the one that recommended or helped me pick out my Apple Watch? So I owe him. All right. Sure. CHR. Never looked at this coin in my life, but I've heard some stirring and some excitement about it. So it's time to look here. Let's plot our course. Seems uh, 13th of March was the all time high at 76 cents. All time low back in June of 2020. Not a ton of history on this chart, but enough there's enough here to do some real ta 
So let's add in our daily areas, but I think we're going to be able to even employ the weekly here. Yep. I'm going to take it from here instead. 75 cents. Perfect. 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 We had a little bump and run at 50 cents. These are really not that likely to interact with price unless we see a significant sell-off. Um, but it's good to just chart chart the map, put the map out there. See uh, where we might be looking to go or what is the likely moves. Okay, putting on my indicators. Diesels, Magdies. It's nuts. Weekly not actually looking that great here for CHR. Um, it's saving grace is it does not have bearish divergence on the weekly. That's great. Um, there's two days left. I'd like to see this waning momentum candle pick back up the pace into this weekly close. Going to have to struggle. Whoa. Okay. I just had a little craziness here. Uh, this is five cents. This is 50 cents. I was like, wait, how, how is five zero three and five zero nine this far apart? Nope, that's a 10x. It's a 10x, wow. Sure. That was some weirdness. Um, that looks good on our supports and resistances. Defer to this little market cipher. I've been enjoying this. We have uh, VWAP lows coming up. Momentum oscillators, higher lows as well. Money flow still in the green. Ooh, this is the trick though. That's the trap. Yep, and we can see it on MACD here in the last two days. Selling momentum has picked up as well. That's not ideal. We have, there we go. There's a little example of bearish kissing. Now, this is on the MACD. These are EMAs. I haven't really observed them in the same way as uh, the moving averages, but something to keep an eye on. I'd like to see what I'd like to see here. What would I like to see? It's actually seemingly right at support too. Here we are. 38 cents here. Seems to be battling uh, daily. We have three slow. See, uh, these look like they're losing momentum here as their bodies are becoming smaller as they sell off. Pretty much a mirror of what happened the th previous three days before. Under the 20. That's not what I like to see. Um, the 40 cents. 40 cents. That is going to be the value I'd like to see it close above today. We have some local support at 38, some local resistance at 40. That's a tight range. I think um, breaking 40, likely to send it retesting the 50 or even 75 cent level. Closing below the 20 moving average today would be not so hot. As the 50 is moving up and is going to cross over this uh, daily wick low down at 27 cents. If we see the close today under the 20, I'm going to be looking for a test of these two things simultaneously. We may actually this way to be consistent. TA is all about being consistent. There we go. Um, looking for a close under the 20 to test the 50 moving average and this daily reversal point at the same time. If it can reclaim it by the end of the day, I'm going to be looking up to 50 cents, possibly even 75. Spices. That looks so bad. I, do you guys ever draw on trading view on one time frame and then change the time frame? And you're like, what Picasso art is this? I do it all the time. I get rid of these. I don't. I don't like these on the MACD guys. If you ever notice my MACD looks different than yours, I turn off the MACD and signal line and the dot crosses. The reason being is it smushes the histogram too much. Those uh, the MACD line and the signal line. Those are those are just moving averages or exponential moving averages anyway. Uh, I don't need them here, and so I don't have the histogram in any other way. So I opt to really use the MACD just for its histogram. Another little learning lesson. No real signs here. The market's seemingly pretty undecided on a lot of the things we've looked at so far. No divergence yet here. 40 cents, that's really going to be the battle. 
That's that's the battle here. So much so that I'm placing an alert. Placing an alert. There we go. Also, you'll probably notice I keep turning it on regular and then switching it back to logarithmic. Um, trading view has all of a sudden gotten very strange. They claim that this has always been this way, but gotten very strange with alerts on logarithmic, and I've noticed them not being uh, executed correctly. So I've been switching them to regular and then putting it back on logarithmic, which is a huge hassle and kind of stupid to have to do. That's okay. Measured move provided. Provided that we get our good clothes, we break above 40 cents, we test 50 cents, we move to our high at 46. Our measure move puts us all the way at $2.17. That is quite a gain. Now, I do not think that this is the probable move until we close above the 20 here, but that's a 466% gain. Is it? Is it in the cards, man? I do not know. That is... It's always hard to, to say, yeah, I think it's going to go to uh, a target that's more than, I don't know, 100% of the upside. It's always a hard sell. So that is where I'd have my eyes set if 76 breaks one step at a time. Um, back to the high is 101%. That's that's enough for now. Uh, let's see if we can muster a downside target out of this and we'll move on. Go 17 cents, 12 cents. None of these are lining up with really anything. Is it 7.5. Man, that would take a lot of selling, though. It would take a lot of selling. Our 618 retrace from this point to our highest point lines up on that set, uh, 075 cent area. That's likely to be very strong support. I'm just hard pressed to. Uh, I'm hard pressed to say that anything is going to look to retrace that much right now. Not with the market being so hot. Yeah, that's 80%. I don't think that's probable. Sorry. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to look... we use our Fib tool one more time. Then we're moving on. Let's see if this lines up. Darn. That's pretty spicy. Our swing high to swing low would have directed us to 44 cents. 10% above the level we're currently looking and struggling with at 40 cents. Pretty spicy. Pretty spicy. All right. I took way more time on this than I thought I would anyway. So we're moving on. Auto. Never looked at this coin either. Today's full of coins I've never looked at. Ooh, you have enough history to look at it. I know some of these we don't. Sorry. Choppy. Choppy, choppy chart. Uh, I've never heard of this coin before, never heard anyone talk about it, so why not? Of course, we're right at resistance. Right at resistance. Auto USD, 003 cents here. We can see this resistance is all the way back from 2019 Q1. And uh, it's definitely a hard one to eye. This might not be super apparent. This reversal in price here is going to be a logical spot where people trapped in bad positions have limit orders set to escape those positions. And we can see that price is really right there battling it. This is on the weekly. Market Cypher is saying that this thing is still bullish though. For some reason, this did not add any of my indicators on, so it's a nice little hassle. RSI, highest point in price, or not the highest point in price, but highest point in RSI. This is looking pretty overheated at 84. However, 84, not really that hot. Not that hot for crypto. Uh, really in the 90s to the 95s is when you're going to say, man, this is, this is getting a little too hot for comfort. So this has some upside on the weekly here, but I will say this, for how little it's moved, even though it's technically moved a lot, um, a little progress that it's made. It is very hot. So this coin is not my favorite. Not my favorite at the moment. 4,500% off its bottom. Tom, what do you mean hasn't moved? Uh, <laughs> progress uh, retracing, I guess, is what we'll call it. Let's throw our fib up again. Should hotkey all these things. 
Oof. Oof. That's not what you like to see. 618 retracement from our swing high to swing low. Right at that resistance. That's rough. That is rough. No way. Uh, here we go. We just broke the fib tool. This doesn't work. There's no way that I would say $2.85 would be the measured move from here. That, that's just gibberish. That's like 100,000%. Nope. Nope. Um, this wick is probably just illiquid. So what we're going to do actually is find... Where's our support? Probably about here. Probably about there. It still puts it out in gibberish land. This is weird. This has really lost a lot of value. 99%. Well, if alt season's coming, we'll know because things like this will start making moves like that. I don't think that that's in the cards. We're going to zoom it in. That support zero 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 two. That is definitely real. We also do have another resistance above us, zeros to two from early trading here. Um, what I'm gonna look for, what I'm gonna look for outside of these moon targets that are too hard to believe is a close today. We're battling with this resistance. You can see the daily candle literally right there. Uh, close above here, zero, zero, three, zero, seven. Close above here and I'm going to look for, and this is a pretty huge move in on itself, all the way to two cents. That's 628%. This is weird. We're getting really big, uh, really big measured moves on these coins today. That makes me uncomfortable. It's like uncomfortable to even say. Yeah, actually, it fits pretty well. It's pretty well, huh? Interesting. You're above your 20 daily. Things are good there. Your momentum is out in space. I wonder if there was some kind of news or something about this coin. This this kind of 4,000% pump in five, six days is uh, usually coupled with some kind of weird news. RSI locally is good. You're going to bearish divergence somewhere because you're not really at the highest point in price. Market Cypher... Other than really locally looks pretty solid here for this coin. Would not surprise me to see this close below. Look to retrace some of its gains before moving higher. Probably maybe back test this 20 and 50 as they move up. Huh. I guess it's a hopium day. Hopium day for us. Oh well. Moving on. EPS. I picked this one because there was a lot of chatter about it, but there's no chart history, so. Not a lot we're going to be able to do here, in all honesty. But I figured we would take a look at it at least. Why not? Just to throw it in the title. Speaking of that, I actually have to look at blank after this because I forgot to last episode and it was in the title. Womp. Womp womp. Nice. Solid 600 watching now. Right on. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I thought it was going to be a boring day. Just didn't seem like people were super hyped, but apparently people got some hype. It's good to uh, have everybody here. Can't believe I'm doing TA on the five minute. I probably, out of principle, should just stop. All right. Actually, this looks pretty decent for a chart with five minute history here. Uh, $8.20 as your resistance above, $6.65 below as support. We're on the five minute. This TA is going to not be super confident, but what we can do here is, all right, cool. Cuckoo. Currently at the 618, we can also glean some kind of support here from this price action. Uh, rallying, sold off rallying, likely to have some kind of significant order there for it what's that downside move here we are downside move actually that's looking pretty tight measure move to the downside sitting at five dollars psychological value highly 
highly probable here. Um, we start seeing closes below $6.65. That price discovery. We'll look for that $5. It's just too tasty a number to give up. It really is. I do like... Uh, I feel like that we have a pretty smooth selling situation here. This is a slight relief, but for the most part, we're seeing that tight coiling move to the downside. Typically, we look for those to break up. Um, I'd like to see this catch here, to be honest. That would be really great. That would be great for it. If not, a potential next spot for a bounce would be just about 7, 691, but hmm, not high confidence there. <sighs> Maybe if I knew something more about this coin, that would help, but I don't. So, whatever. Guess it is what it is. I don't believe this wick at $38. However, that's not as crazy. As uh, some of the other stuff we've looked at today, $38 from 8 is only maybe, what, 5x? As opposed to the 40,000 or something, some of these other coins we've looked at. Um, good luck with this. This is a knife. I would be weary. But you might be getting a little 618 bounce here, so retest that 820. See what happens. All right, I'm going to look at blank really quick because uh, I forgot. I goofed it. Goofed it up. Don't have a chart. Here we go, Bitcoin. <clears throat> Doing a little bounce. Tiny bounce. Ethereum. But a little indecision. Yep. Seeming, uh, seemingly a little indecision here on Ethereum and Bitcoin. These tiny red doji-ish candles. Typically, we see them close this way. We would look to... Uh, it's on the one hour, though. We would look for some kind of sideways action. You know what? I didn't even look at Ethereum that closely on the four hour. This is actually kind of pretty. We have the three candle set up here. 20,075 local support here for this three candle long trade setup. It's not bad. It's not bad. Two hours, 27 minutes to go to close above 2,075. That seems very likely. That puts 2,131 very much in reach in the short term to get that close. These are hollow candles. Blank. That's what we were doing. Guess it's only on Uniswap. Great. Womp womp. <clears throat> womp womp. I hate doing these Uniswap ones, but that's okay. At least this one has a little more a little more history than most of these Uniswap ones. Alright. Pretty cut and dry here. We see virtually two levels of potential support. 00, 0, 0, 088 looking like the closest one to price. No issues on the daily with RSI. The highest point in price here on yesterday's candles, the highest point on RSI. That's a good sign. Same on the 12 hour with MACD. Momentum has not given up here. See a little consolidation in the last 12 hour candle. This one seemingly not making progress either. It might sound like a bad thing, but it's actually a pretty solid thing after a pump like that. You want to see sideways movement. You're allowing your oscillators to cool off. You're allowing uh, essentially refueling your tanks potentially. 12 hour RSI, same condition as the daily, no bearish divergence there. Just waiting to see it though. It's hard not to have it after that. Nope, not even on the 4 hour. 4 hour looks good with a little waning momentum, not a huge deal. Price doesn't seem to really care. These Uniswap charts never are clean. I 
We have some local support from the flag below you at 00176. I wouldn't really, wouldn't uh, bet the house on it or anything. It's not lining. I uh, wouldn't bet the house on it or anything that is not likely to be super strong. I would not enter this one right now, personally. I would look for a retrace, likely in the 0014 to 0016 area. Uh, that would not be too bad. Hmm. I don't like Ethereum pairs. <laughs> not a huge fan. This coin is interesting. It's interesting. I, I want to see it bounce. I want to see some kind of movement outside of just flat sideways, but avoiding bearish divergence on virtually every time frame with this pump, that does set it up for another pump. It does. As long as you are you don't retrace too deeply, you're set up pretty fancy for another one. Here we go, corn. Um, rare. Rare to see that much movement without any bearish divergence. It, you, don't, you don't catch that often. Today's April April 2nd. April 2nd. Alright. I think alright, I got through the coins I wanted to, right? Yeah. Yeah, so now we can take it to chat. See what people are saying. I've been trying to interact with chat more often because God knows how ADD I am. I could just zone out, and not even notice, so. Give me two seconds. Pull up my little chat and see what you guys are talking about, what we might want to take a look at. I'm down. I'm down. We're going to do a little bit longer of a stream than we usually do, or have been doing. Um, one, because it's early in the month. Good to get visibility early in the month. And two, because tomorrow we will be taking a rare day off early in the month. Um, it's my friend, best friend's birthday. So probably going to go get Chitty. Chitty, C-H-I-T-T-Y with him. Uh, and a bunch of our friends tomorrow. So I will be in a rare condition. Rare condition. Nice. We have a lot more people joining Discord today. That was weird yesterday. We had a ton of viewers. Yeah, only like five people joined the Discord. Uh, shout out to Ham, Hilco, MC Devoloro, T. Henkrinson, AJ Smith, DT, DTV, 4268, Twisted Relic. Johnny somehow lost his patron role. Let me add that back. Uh, Diaper Dong, ouch. And Nem Gaming, welcome guys. Thanks for joining the Discord. Lissa, Mech, Mech2, Androsidia. Thanks. Thanks for joining, guys. Good to have you. Hopefully you guys have liked the stream and subscribed. Hit that bell. Hopefully you've done all the goodies. It's good to have you in Discord. Great way to keep up with everybody. TC in rare form. True. I'll mint it as an NTF. It as an ETF. Yeah, we could probably look at EGLD. Ejeld for Josh. I mean, he doesn't even have to. He doesn't even have to say anything. Yes, there we are. Um, yeah, no, there's some problems here. Nice, Josh. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Egld retaking. Finally retaking. 154. <laughs> Happy for you, brother. Happy. Happy for you. We're going to check out the playing field. I'm going to leave this up for now. John L., thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Greg Waters, how you doing, man? You ran a 20-minute 5K. I don't know if that's fast or not in other people's minds, but Greg Waters, that's faster than I could do it. Guaranteed. Well done, man. Well done. Keep up the good work. Love it. Uh, love when people are investing in themselves. Physically, mentally. Trying to progress. It's the only way you get to what you want. Mm. 
Yo, Mr. Ragsdale. How you doing, brother? When are you going live? Mr. Ragsdale, when are you live next? Chill yourself. Chill yourself, sir. You're always welcome to chill yourself here. Mr. Jerry Ma uh, Jerry Massey, how you doing, bro? How you doing? Six Greg Water, six years old, would smoke me. Smoke me in a run. Just annihilate me in a run. Dig it. Proud of you, my friend. I, I can barely run my dog at the park. Barely. What's up, Jeremy? What's up? What's up? John L., do I believe in market makers? I think I believe in them. Um, it's like pandas, you know? You can believe in them or not, but they're still there. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy Ragsdale puts on a live show on YouTube here. It's kind of a unspoken crypto hangout. It's really just our community and Mitch Ray's community for the most part, plus Jeremy's fans, of course. Um, but it's mostly just crypto TA people, a good time. Dude can, dude's got a set of pu uh, pipes on him. He can sing 9.30 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays, so go follow him. Check him out. Oh, Maker's Mark, Justin Bond. Uh, wait, am I getting tripped up? I'm tripped. Oh, right on, Jeremy. Dude, I appreciate your works, man. You're, you're dope. You're dope. Yes, Discord links in there's. Maker's Mark or Market Maker? Okay, you're getting me confused. Don't do that. It does matter. The state of crypto. How is Martin doing, man? Uh, I have not. I have not seen him. I haven't talked to him. We used to chat. I haven't seen him. I miss him. Come back. Tom Cruise Crown. Cruise Crown. What's up, Melissa B? Melissa B. Siscoin. Siscoin. I don't know. Maybe Siscoin. Edgar Me, how you doing, man? Remy? Hot. Dude, my hot bags are flying. Ooh, 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 go Bitcoin, go. Ooh. There we go. Now that we have the first little inkling of reversal here, on the 30 minute, on the 15 minute, on the hourly, okay, 17 minutes, looking to bullish engulf. 58, 861, that'd be a solid hourly close with this bottom wick. That would be excellent. That would be excellent. Our maybe waning momentum has bullish divergence on RSI. Likely seeing Market Cipher showing us some divergence as well with this lower low on momentum. Higher low on the VWAP. I like this setup. We can see actually right back here a little Market Cipher learning lesson. Uh, by the way, guys, Market Cipher, we still have that promo code if anyone's interested in it. I'm not really even chilling it. It's just. We have a promo code. You get 10% off. Can't get it anywhere else right now. Um, if you're interested, the link is in Discord, so you can check it out. Um, and I've been using it. You guys know I really only ever talk about stuff that I use. I don't you know. I put my money where my mouth is, I guess. Uh, we saw this. We saw on the hourly here, uh, this green and red kind of waving here this is money flow and so what that suggests is money entering or exiting an asset and uh we saw what yesterday this little fake out flip to selling to money leaving that could be could be what we're seeing again that led to a nice little pump Ooh, not huge but that did break us uh to 60,500. there we go hourly bullish engulfed seconds seconds after stating it Coming off the 15 minute engulfed here. Things are getting spicy quick. Things can get spicy quick. There we are. Higher high on VWAP for the 15 after two. Higher lows. Excellent. Momentum. Same sitch. This is actually looking pretty juicy. This is looking pretty darn juicy. Um, we're taking 58,972 here. And you're looking for upside. You're looking for some solid upside. We are going to get to EGLD, don't worry. Here we are. There we go. We may be seeing it. Price closes this hourly bullish engulfed. 
you push up above 58.972. Or 50, I'm dyslexic, I swear. Um, you're looking for a retest of that 60.55 from this morning. If you break that, our measured move, lining up perfectly with our 61788. Interesting. 61788. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Does anybody recognize the significance of that number? Having nothing to do with Bitcoin. It's actually not perfectly the number that I'm talking about, but it is incredibly close. We're talking 0.02% away. Does anybody know it? Give you guys a minute. Uh. Golden ratio. There it is. Gold star. Gold star for daydream. The daydream band. Gold star for you, my friend. Yes. Isn't that interesting? The high we're struggling with is the golden ratio. 618 61722 and ethereum interrupts me here to break out again ba boom wait what i just got an alert that ethereum broke 037 yet yeah, here we are looking at it this is binance i wonder if that is on coinbase Try this one I think it might be breaking out on Coinbase. Huh. Huh. Okay. What's interesting is I think that this happened in the reverse recently. 21. Today. 1400 hours. Yeah, here's what's really interesting. This... I don't know how to interpret this as bullish or bearish, but Coinbase moving outside of the movement of uh, Binance here with a huge wick to the upside, traded all the way to 038. What? Patrons, I hope you guys had your order set. That would have been a snipe. It's a 7% candle there. Um, here's what's interesting. Coinbase just made this weird candle wick to the upside. I'm actually going to confirm if this is real by opening the exchange. Um, don't see that on Binance, but we had the same thing happen earlier today on Binance. 1400 hours, we see this wick up to our resistance where Coinbase didn't do it. It's not here. Come on. Not here. It's the same candle, 1400 hours. No wick. Yes, Wick. Yes, Wick. No, Wick. I don't know what this means, though I do find it hard to interpret this as bearish. It seems as if liquidity is not quite there. This is a real Wick. This is a real Wick. Yep, shows up on Coinbase. Literally shows up on Coinbase. It's there. It's real. Huh. It's hard for me to interpret this as anything but bullish. It seems that there's not enough sell liquidity on these exchanges. We're seeing these reminiscent of 2016, 2017 fat finger wicks. And to me, that is simply showing that it is not localized to a single exchange. And that there is potentially not enough Ethereum um, in this Ethereum Bitcoin pair order book to absorb some of these buys. That's pretty darn bullish. Uh, I don't think there's like a real standard, I don't think there's a standard for it, but I interpret that as bullish. And there we are, Bit Ethereum USD. Is this, probably this is not on uh, Coinbase either, is it? Let's see if uh, Ethereum dollar on Coinbase made a similar move. Interesting, it did not. That doesn't... Hmm, I guess Arb smacked this. That's what happened. Huh. 
Just processing. Wild. Just right as Ethereum's hitting this, uh, the high of today. That's spicy. It's just spicy action in general. I like it. It's a spicy day. Did I see you wearing a golden lapel kimono for the last couple of streams? The pimp game is strong with this one. Uh, yes, you did. You did. I uh, unfortunately can't wear it every day. Can't wear it every day. But uh, yes, sir, you did. I can't believe how much you guys like it. Like, I like it, but I'm a weird dude. I like a lot of weird clothing and stuff. You see me wear a flat brim hat. I wear sunglasses. Um, you wear a robe. I like it, but that doesn't usually mean everybody else does. You guys, I don't think you've ever given me the same quantity of feedback about anything about the stream, uh, nor the same level of positive feedback. <laughs> you guys love the rope. I love the rope too, so look, we have that in common. Got in common. There we go, corn. But yes, you did, Jeremy, sir. And I appreciate you for noticing. Appreciates you. Yeah, second show for Jeremy. Friday? You said Fridays. Fridays is Thursday. I don't know. Subscribe to... Uh... Well, uh, subscribe to uh, Jeremy's. Go uh, chill and next time he plays musics. Good dude. Lots of talent. something there's a cool story you've seen in a minute uh i think it's just off amazon man it's just off amazon matthew trant how you doing brother joe gross two awesome patrons love them both you guys are great 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 robe needs a fur collar i don't own a single I don't own a single piece of clothing that has 600 watching. Peace. You guys, you surprise me. You surprise me every day. There's so many times where I'm like, dude, people are going to be amped today. This place is going to be popping. And then it's like we have 200 viewers or something. And then there's days like today where I'm like, ah, oh, nothing's going on really. I mean, a little Ethereum pump, but it won't be too busy. And then we have 600 watching out of nowhere. Uh, Jeremy's link in the chat. Go subscribe to him. It's it's fun. I go there. You'll catch me there every once in a while. Requesting songs and just being merry. Let's go New York. What's going on with New York? Only why for New York to break out. I don't understand. Right on that. Are the likes broken? Yeah, they might be. Oh, crap. Sorry, Jeremy. I'm not supposed to tell anybody. It's actually super secret. Super secret. I'm not supposed to talk about it. Rule one of Jeremy Ragdale's song and song show. I don't know. Awesome show. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about the awesome show. What's up, Matthew D? Matt D. A fellow Digibyte fan. Speaking of which, Matthew D, if you hang out here, I'll look at Digibyte next, even though he didn't even request it. I gotta look at EGLD, I kind of forgot. Gotta get back into it. Looking to be chaining together a sixth day-ish of increasing momentum here, having retaken the 20, back-tested it on the last day of March, and looking to close EGLD above $154 for the first time in virtually a month. This is great. This is great, Josh. I don't even know if you're here, man, but this is for you. This is for you. Hope you're happy. Closing today. Closing today at this level at $171 would put the edge in favor of the Bulls to retest the high of 217 217 We're going to have to do a little more surveying of this uh, site. Ooh. Ooh, that's off the 50, isn't it? The 50. What's up, John? Bab Kenny. Bab Kenny. You know what? CVC, I, you're right. I do have to pull CVC up as well. Just to e on everybody. 
Why do I have charts named things that aren't the chart? Did I ruin my CVC chart accidentally? There we go. Another little uh, shameless self-promotion, as always, guys. Uh, 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 another patron trade setup, guys. We're hitting them like fire lately. Please don't expect... If you join the patron, you can't expect this level of consistent fire trades. It is just not reasonable. But another one. Another one. CVC from 44 cents. Looking to take that up to 91, to, uh, 91 cents to a dollar for a 125% take. And yes, this is after a 235% take that we charted here live. We have been railing on this coin. This thing never moved against our trade, really. I think it just briefly, just ever so briefly, touched it, started moving. This thing is going nutty. I'm getting more Ethereum alerts. This is not letting me do anything, is this? There we go. Here we are. Um, so now Binance following... <laughs> following uh, Coinbase Pro doing the same crazy wick. Is it to the same price? No, weirdly lower. 0 0.036 as opposed to... This is ridiculous. As opposed to 0 0.038 on Coinbase Pro. What is going on with Ethereum? This is uh, this is unusual. You don't typically see this. What you typically see is one exchange run differently, and then actors move uh, to arbitrage trade that, and what they do is they bring prices back together across exchanges. What we're seeing here is almost like a rogue... I don't know, like a, a rogue ship. Like, it, it just bouncing around. Um... Coinbase made a crazy wick to the upside in the last uh, 10 minutes here, uh, pumping 6, 7, 8% in Ethereum Bitcoin pair, where we didn't see that on Binance. Binance didn't budge. And now Binance just pulled the same move. It didn't go quite as high. But it just pulled the same move one minute ago. I don't know what's going on. My only explanation is that there is a lack of liquidity on the Ethereum Bitcoin pair. And in my opinion, what's that, uh, what does that accomplish? It would accomplish, uh, not accomplish. What does that mean? I guess. Yeah. It means that there is unlikely, or at least this is suggesting that there is less arbitrage selling pressure between Ethereum and Bitcoin pair and likely to translate out likely to translate out to the Ethereum dollar pair. I can't see this as anything but bullish. We have two different exchanges. They didn't do it in sync, which would have been normal. That wouldn't have been strange. Because 2146 is when Coinbase did it. <clears throat> and 2156, so these are actually exactly 10 minutes apart. Uh -oh. So what does that mean? In six more minutes, we should keep our eyes open. Maybe we'll get another jump. This is why I love. This is uh. This is why I love limit orders, guys. Limit orders, especially when you're trading Bitcoin pairs. If you had a limit order set on Coinbase, on Ethereum BTC, for 036, 037, 038, it would have filled. And then price would have moved right back down to 035. Literally could have just rebought more Ethereum right away. Bam. Bam. Melissa B. Ticka Tiwari, I don't know who that is, but announced F is the next trillion dollar coin. Uh that I mean that makes sense. It's also the one that's the closest to it like 200 something billion market cap and I don't know it would be uh, kind of illogical to name any other one though I think there are many that have the possibility to be is our chart here we go EGLD 2050 cross here on the daily coming up I want to see this close above 154 and I'll be looking for uh 
you looking forward a test of the high at 217 like I said and I realize I realize that I want to do this measured move not from that crazy Binance wick but from this second more modest wick there we are those numbers look way better So I'd be looking for, on a break of 217, I would be looking for the usual culprits. The psychological 420 blaze it. Always a factor. Always worth considering. Just to put it on your books. Our measure move puts us at 523. I think that this is likely best expressed by a zone. 500 to 523 that would be my re this, this would be my target the next take profit target for me on EGLD if we get a break of the high I think that was the target before anyway so not a lot changed but good to reiterate just now just now and I will uh, let's back this up and reference yesterday but just this moment 4,800 Bitcoin removed from Coinbase exchange to unknown wallet. Uh, this comes off of yesterday, I believe 1,200 was removed. Was it yesterday, the day before? I'm losing track of time. Um, I don't remember. Uh, and 1.3 billion Tether was printed. That was two days ago. Printed in one print, the biggest print I'd ever seen. And we saw upwards of a billion of a billion tether moved to Binance yesterday. This whole market is moving. It's moving. It's all lining up. It's all lining up. Stable coins are going in consistently. Stable coins are growing in market cap. And Bitcoin is being removed from exchanges. That is impossible. <laughs> impossible, in my opinion, to view that any other way except for bullish more stablecoin more buying power moving to market bitcoin being removed from market supply vanishing with buying power increasing i mean that it only goes really only goes in one direction all right digibyte you're not impressing right now Impress me right now, but it, this still looks solid. We have a series of higher lows. Retesting 8.35 cents. Weakening it as resistance. You're riding the 20 daily, and that is what we like to see here on Digibyte. Looking for measure move to 15 cents. 15 cent. 15 cent. Uh, the daily 20 and 50, we are, we do see this uh, bullish kissing here. Not quite as tight as the other examples, but that may, that may be our signal. Hasn't really played out in the same way as some others that we've looked at. Yeah. I think edges with the bulls here. We may easily see another test of these moving averages as we've done twice now with a higher low before moving higher. We do have 10 cents here to battle with. Likely going to make a pit stop there as boring as it is. But 15 cents I think is in the future. Not too far future. Let's see how this quarterly closed for my own curiosity. Out in space. Nice. There's more history than this, though. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bitcoin parent digibyte looking very hot here. Very hot. Tested 140 resistance. And what we're looking for today, a close above the 200 daily moving average will be the first time since February where it immediately sold off. We get a close. Even right here, 133. 
Things are looking very good. Very, very good. Very, very, very good. Oh, my. Size still low. Momentum still moving up. Two fifty. Yeah, that'll play. That'll play. Wow. Okay. Moving on. Uh, wow, that's going to be a spicy Digibyte close. Watch Digibyte in Bitcoin Pair today. This close could be very interesting. A close below, and you're moving back to 123 to test its support again. Excellent. I'm consolidating still boring. This thing looks just with no chill Ethereum right now. No chill. Solid 576 watching. 10 dislikes. I want to thank the dislikers out there personally. I want to thank them. Thank you for the engagement on the stream. YouTube. YouTube's actually considering removing the dislike button. Did you guys know that? Uh, because it just doesn't do anything. It's the exact same thing as liking a stream. So they're considering removing it. Just a fun piece of YouTube trivia for you. That's, uh, I believe it's in talks now. It's a new, new decision by them. It hasn't ever done anything other than it's just like a like. So they're going to combine the buttons where they're proposing. They're going to combine the buttons into one button where it's just like a engagement button. There you go. You learn something every day. You learn something new every day. All right. I totally got sidetracked from chat. What's chat doing? Vitho. John Odie, what's up, man? Remco Lakin. How you doing, man? Nem could shoot up the dollars, maybe. Sure. I don't even know what it... I have no idea what it's at now. I don't really even... There's very few ults that I can name what price they're at in dollars. Lured glass lures. No, I have not. I've never used the insurance on Bybit. Dalansan, what's up, brother? Decentralized cloud storage, how you doing? Total crypto engage. Goliath online. I don't know who said that yesterday, but I've been saying it since. Mr. Lee Manu, yeah, you know, like I get that, I get the logic there, but dislikes just don't do anything. They're they just don't do anything. There's literally a hate, they call it, like a hate, hate marketing or something. Where it's like uh, videos that kind of like enrage you. And it's a whole marketing thing. Don't do anything. There's whole marketing schemes based around it. What's up, Sam Claypool? Joel Mockery. How you doing? Sigh about to run, is it? Harrison G, everyone just like the stream? Sure, it doesn't matter to me. Like it, dislike it, just engage with it. Make sure you talk about it too. Like, type in the chat a bunch about it. Maybe you subscribe during it so, so you know it's real. Vajur. Vajar. Welcome from the Czech Republic. Hello, Czech Republic. Welcome, fam. I actually had a... An, I had an exchange student from the Czech Republic when I was, uh, I don't even remember how young I was. Dude was great. His name was Jan. Awesome dude. Awesome, awesome dude. Dimitri, thank you for watching, man. You're welcome. I love sharing it. Just here to share my experience. Nobody has to watch, but I wish I would have, uh, I wish I could have had somebody do the same for me when I started, so. No problem. Lure, glass, lures. Your name is hard to say. 
Greetings, Crypto Greg. How are you doing? How are you, my friend? Imagine thinking the downvote down button is pointless. I mean, you know, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert on YouTube. Clearly, YouTube considers it useless as well. I don't know. It's not really worth arguing about. I was just sharing my thoughts. I'll put it this way. It doesn't do what you think it does. If you don't like a stream and you want to like hurt the stream, then you don't watch it and you don't interact with it. That's all you can do. Anything else is essentially engaging it, which YouTube values. <laughs> BR, what's up, brother? BTH, safe moon. Thinking I'm not, I have questions. Are you Mike Dutch? I don't know who that is. What's up, Dallin Song? Kin stretching to hit its all time high. Dude, Kin has been rocking. Oh my god, Kin, it might take my number one spot for uh, for gains here not too long. It's going to be hard to dethrone Theta and T-Fuel, though. <sighs> Holy crap, man. We were looking we were looking for this coin to go from... Like, these are just fractions and fractions of pennies. Four zeros, two, we were watching this. And I thought three zeros, 12 was good. How do you even TA this, honestly? So here's the thing about Kin. I don't really know much about it. I know uh, I was recommended it a long time ago by someone who's really adamant about it. I think it was Kasama Pro. If anybody's ever seen him on YouTube. Uh, he goes Kasama Pro. Even if it wasn't, doesn't matter. He said it was a good project, so I picked up like 50 bucks at the time of it. Um, no idea if it is a good project or not. Wouldn't doubt it if it is or isn't. But what it isn't is it is not listed on any A name exchange. It's not on Binance, not on like Bittrex, not on Coinbase. And so the golden goose for this has always been, since the beginning, that it gets listed somewhere. It's listed on like Binance. What happened is this didn't get listed anywhere, but it started trading on Uniswap. I believe, believe last year Q4, maybe, something like that started trading on Uniswap and it has not looked back since. It really has just been putting the pedal to the metal. Um, it'll be interesting if it ever does get listed. If it ever gets listed on Binance or something. 10,000%. It'll be interesting. Don't know. Don't know anything about this. Momentum could be better on the daily. RSI could be better on the daily. Bearish divergence on both of those indicators. But doesn't have it. Doesn't have it on the weekly. We have the highest point in price is the highest point in RSI. No bearish divergence. Highest point in our MACD. Highest point in price. Decent. Um, I would definitely look for a pullback on this. Would not, as I never do, recommend jumping in at what is the highest price it's ever traded at. And it's down maybe 5%. 16%, man, that's deceptive. Wouldn't feel comfortable personally. Maybe it's triple three twenty five, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. This thing is off in space. It's like only traded on Uniswap. I don't even remember how I got it. I had to do some like really weird stuff. Do some weird stuff to pick it up. All right, there's some odd exchange or some. I had to sign up for. I don't remember. I had to do something I don't usually do for coins, but he convinced me to, so I did. M. Tolman, KSM looking to play, probably. KSM has been on a ripper. Ripping. Ripping slowly and steadily. What's up, Ferdy Weiss? I don't, I don't know if I shouted you out, man. It's good to see you, brother. Thanks for joining us. Tom's Diner. 
Yo, 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 Tom Steiner. I feel like there was something I looked at for you that blew up. I don't remember. Maybe you can remind me. Sodium99, one of our newest patrons. What's up, my dude? Good to have you here. Gone 6F at uh 6 x -eth. That's hard to say too. 6 x -eth. Silly bet. Good luck. <laughs> Jeremy uh Jesus could himself could float down and make a video telling us the meaning of life, still get dislikes. True that. True that, man. You know what though? If people feel empowered by disliking and they feel good, then I'm happy to bear that burden for them so they can feel good, no matter. Helps the channel anyway. Helps the stream. JT, do I have any thoughts on VRA? Happy birthday, Ooh. Tom I D I D N T. Forget I swear. Mr. Dallin's son. What's up, brother? Dallin, Dallin. Happy birthday. You didn't forget. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Appreciates it. <laughs> I thought the super chat was broken, actually. Because a lot of channels I've been in lately, the super chat hasn't been working randomly. It's okay. We don't need super chats today. If you want to throw them, you can, but... It's all good. My portfolio is doing just fine right now. Doing well. Catching up with this chat still. Likes are stuck at 200. Hmm. For me, it says we have 415 likes. 412 likes. 414 likes. Maybe you have to just refresh. Maybe if you refresh your uh, refresh your stream, it'll work. I don't know. You knew. Nice. We've got some solid, consistent viewership for not a ton going on right now. Ethereum is gonna do something here, methinks, but... Nothing. It's not currently moving. It's just consolidating. After pushing up, we see that happened... Oh, this is the Bitcoin pair. Right at the previous resistance, so... Not a bad sign. Could get a repeat. Repeat and repeat. We're on a boat. He'd fill out. EFO community. Hey, dude. Miss Taxi Driver. How you doing? Thank you for your content. Thank you for watching. John L. wants to see more charts. Let's see what I got pulled up. Well, I was talking about Bitcoin dominance yesterday. This is on people's minds, and I was saying I doubted. I doubted that we were going to see a breakdown. I will say, we do have a lower low now. Yesterday wasn't as convincing. We do have a lower low. This might be one of those times where Tom Crown's wrong. It's possible. It is possible, guys. I know. It's terrible. have a pretty good track record for charting the dominance. But nobody wins everything. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I'm very wrong. Maybe I'm very wrong. This is, uh... This is one of the rare examples lately of what we were talking about earlier in this episode of a bearish kissing. We do not see these very often. Well, not lately. We used to see them all the time. Uh, the 20 was looking to cross bullishly with the 50, and right before, price pulled it down away from the cross, rejected it, and now we're seeing a pretty strong rally. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was. I will say this, though. We haven't seen Bitcoin move. This was a huge part of my reasoning. This is a huge part of my reasoning is... I think Bitcoin is going to push up for a new high. If we close today as a doji again, I'm going to get very bullish, by the way. Um, and Bitcoin dominance would then trend with that pump. Bitcoin has just traded sideways, so Bitcoin dominance dropping actually makes total sense. For me, it's going to be... It's dependent on this on this break. So... Bitcoin breaks up, I fully expect Bitcoin dominance to just snap back, likely at least to the 200. But as it is right now, 
Probably I was wrong. As it is. Just watch the rally. Watch Bitcoin. Bitcoin rallies. Makes higher highs here. Bitcoin dominance should also snap back up. We've seen it happen before. Uh, Bitcoin dominance has had massive wicks. We can see these ridiculous size wicks here on our chart in the daily. This would not be unheard of. But I may just be wrong. This uh, It's weird. This doesn't look like it wanted to break down. Spent seven weeks, seven weeks consolidating sideways. Uh, there it is. Seven weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we are. Two days to go. Huh. Hmm. Either way. Either way. I wonder if we really think it's going to break 57, 18 without some kind of, uh, some kind of relief. I don't think so. I don't, but I won't complain if it does, won't complain if it doesn't. This would have been such a beautiful head and shoulders. And sure, you might be able to say it is a head and shoulders, but this is, for me, I, I can't count that as a rejection from like the neckline or something. I guess this could be, but there's, I guess this would be the shoulder. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. It happens, guys. It happens. What I can also say with confidence is, if 57.18 September, August 2020's uh, reversal point on dominance, if that breaks, we're fully, fully headed or in alt season at that point. This is going to be the target, a lower low. Four hours getting nuked. Cool. Hmm. It was wrong. I always try my best, but sometimes uh, best doesn't cut it. Bump bum. We'll keep an eye. Always keeping an eye on it. My alert. I guess I would also be hard pressed. <clears throat> I would be hard to imagine this doing that. At least, even if we're going to just go down and I was wrong, we're not getting a rally. At least looking to backtest that consolidation. That's what happened here. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not going to be mad if it goes down. I'm not going to be mad if it goes up. It's all gravy. Did not get the bullish engulf close in the last hourly wompity womp. Stinks. Smash the like. That's right. Decentral cloud storage. Oh, my chat has not been updating. My bad. There we go, I had to refresh it. Discord link, Mr. Pop Not Soda is pinned to the top of the chat. It's also in the chat. Join us on Discord, guys. Join us on Discord. 24-7 live streams. Spirit, how you doing, man? CMC shows 57. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of CMC. I don't, see, coin market cap, I've never liked it that much in general. And then Binance acquired it, and now it seems a little tainted. So let's take a look at CoinGecko. What does it say? CoinGecko is saying 55.9. Wow. So that's a big difference. That's a huge difference. S. Kierkegaard. How you doing, man? Kevin R., Uh, who else is here? Johnny Smith. People are talking about 
Link, is Link even moving? Let's let's use this to find out. It's weird. Why is this first? BTT is up, FL files up, EGLD, TRX, CHSB. One. I don't think Link is even moving, guys. What are you? 0.5% in the last hour, 6% in the 24 hour, I guess that's a little bit more. But hot, BTT, GLD, Zill, EOS, SNX, Waves, those are all taking the taking the glory. We'll pull up hot. Fatty, a lot of bots uh, convincing people to trade their Bitcoin for Ethereum. I will say, though, I mean, there's tons of bots, so that's probably accurate. I will say, though, I guess the bots were given good information, though, because Ethereum Bitcoin pair has run in the last few days. <laughs> so helpful bots, question mark. It's almost hard to imagine helpful bots. Normally, they're trying to get people the wrong way. Wow, hot. You are just running, hitting 40, hit 48 sats. That's massive. Massive, massive. Hot taking the measured move. All right. Mm, losing my voice already. Here we are. Hot USD, looking for 027 to 0281. That's a solid 20-something percent from here. 23, yep. Way beyond, way beyond any moving averages on every time frame. 12 hour coming out of nowhere with more momentum and a higher RSI high. This thing's just. Well, I mean, we just saw that Bitcoin dominance is dropping like a stone. So this is uh, this is what we would look for. We'd look for these movements, these uh, incredible alt pumps. Absolutely bonkers. Bonkers. Sodium, nice, nice trade, my friend. Nice trade. Dude, yeah, VTT has been going ape as well. And there we are, Bitcoin dominance. That's, this explains it all. You don't need to ask, why is this pumping? Why is that pumping? This shows you right here. BTCD did break down on the daily. That's going to send alts rocketing as they get smashed with all of that, uh, all that market cap. Nice. Prepare yourself for the apocalypse. I think Ethereum is about to break out. Again. <clears throat> Again. I gotta close some of these windows. Don't need kin anymore. Don't need blank. Keep EP up. CVC went up to 78 cents. Very nice. Ethereum, just do it, bud. Just do it. Oh, yeah, you're looking strong. Looking very strong here on the five. Right at the high. Strong on the 15. We get a little weaker on the 30, actually. But can you call this weakness? It's just all positive momentum. It's really difficult to call it weakness. 4-hour looks great, though. 6-hour looks great. 12 could go either way. 
in the day. I think we're I think we're gonna break up on that again. This wick just like wrecked all the charts. Can't use auto zoom anymore. Stupid wick. What's up, David? David, how you doing, man? You didn't need to tell me. Didn't need to tell me. I would have looked at it for you. I was gonna say, uh, <laughs> said to shoot me a message in Discord, and then I realized I haven't looked at him. We can take a peek at ADA. I'm sure there's others. I'm sure, there's others uh, eyeing it up. Yeah, Binance never hit that dollar eighty-one. ADA never hit that dollar eighty-one. Coinbase did. Consolidating. Bullish divergence on the end of March is low. This is really just sideways. Sideways is good though. Sideways under support. Er, sorry. Sideways under resistance is good. It's good. Let's see if I can get a little cleaner chart here. Weekly, solid. This one good. I'll post this in the Patreon then, by the way. I'll add ADA. On Coinbase, ADA looks to have supported a dollar eighteen. Does not have too much else there. I think ADA looks good, honestly. I'm still, still waiting for it to test, for it to test a dollar. 81 on uh, other exchanges. So that target may be moving here. I think we're going to have to look at a longer time frame. Yep. A uh, dollar and five cents. Is your weekly support below you? It's in a second weekly doji in a row. I was saying how daily dojis, uncommon to see them back to back. Weekly dojis, even more so. Even more so. That is wild how flat that is. All right, here's good news though. Daily is still on top of the 20. You're on top of the 50. That's bull. That's bullish. And you're on top of the 20, on top of the 50. That's like really all you can ask for. Ah, okay, I see. I didn't realize this had a double top. I don't know if that's visible on other exchanges. This is finance. Yeah, I'll say it's visible on, on Binance as well. So you have a double top on the daily. Uh, double top's not really what they're cracked up to be in crypto. Rarely do I see them paint. Rarely do I see them paint uh, on significant reversals. Generally, they're a weak reversal signal. With ADA closing above the 20 over and over again, you have the 50 right below you at $1.12. This is in pretty good shape in general. Um, this is in pretty good shape. Moving sideways after having a meteoric rise like ADA saw is probably the best thing you could ask for, in all honesty. Probably the best. 
I think it's likely to range trade from that dollar thirty one on Binance to a dollar five. Supported a dollar sixteen, it seems, on Coinbase. The first the first sign I would even take to really look at this again is um uh, the first thing I would look for is a close below the 20. At this point, it's not there. Get a daily close below the 20, and that's right at this really local dollar 17. Then you start paying attention. Then you start paying attention to it. You look to the 50. The 50 is pretty closely underneath. Um, more daily support. This is good. This is healthy. This looks as if it's it wants to threaten a 2050 cross in the daily bearish cross and then pull away and run. Um, fortunately, you're just consolidating. There's not going to be a lot to take away from it unless you start getting closes that give you something to look at. Jeez, this thing has is really symmetrical on uh, Binance. There's so many multiple closes, the same values. Pretty cool. I think the edge is on trading sideways for a while, to be honest. I'll look for a break in either direction of like really any of these levels. It seems our price is just getting more and more smushed, less volatile. It's going to look to make, it's going to look to break, but I don't think we know what direction by the chart at this point. However, I think favor is going to be up. Favor pretty easy to uh, to determine at this point. Seemingly everything is moving up. Uh, really thought Bitcoin move a little more. But thank you. Um, thank you, David. I appreciate you, my friend. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah. John just reminded me, guys, anyone who's a patron that doesn't have their role. At the start of every month, patron has weird issues where it for whatever reason, doesn't give the rolls out in Discord that it should. Uh, if that happened to you, just tell me. I thought I caught everyone, but apparently I missed some. So, totally normal. It happens. Just send me a message on Discord. Let's see. Nice. A bunch of people... Hey, Pornflakes joined the Discord. I'm going to give him a roll. A um, bunch of people joined Discord this stream. Nice. Nice. Last stream, nobody joined. It was really lonely. What should I give him? Yeah, I'll figure it out later. Uh, good to see some hype back. Got a bunch of charts. How long have we been streaming for? Two hours. Man, I got no streaming endurance anymore. I'm like... I'm tired. Chart fatigue. Chart fatigue. What else do we want to look at? What's on people's minds? What do we want to look at? 450 watching, so we've lost 150-ish. Uh, Daily grown exotics. What's up, man? <clears throat> a bone. A A A A T R X. Now free says X R P. Thank you, Sodium. I appreciate you. I like sharing it. Andy, B Dub just says B Y Y. Please, G Vet, Gene Gonzalez, X R P, Dimitri F T M, B T T. Okay. Why did Uber just send a I'm gonna do it. notification to my watch? Jocelyn B. Have a bunch of LTC. First thing I want to say to you, Jocelyn, is be very wary. This goes for everyone. You don't want to share your crypto holdings publicly online, especially. Um, it's just bad, bad opsec, bad uh, crypto practice. Just so you guys know, avoid doing that. Um, what might be a small amount of money now could be a large amount of money later. And that may unknowingly 
make you a target in the future of some bad actors. So just looking out for you guys. Better to change Eth for Litecoin for Eth or Bitcoin by the end of the year. Um, honestly, Litecoin is by far closest uh, to its lows, meaning it's made the least upside progress versus Ethereum or Bitcoin. In my opinion, that that is highly suggestive of it has the highest or largest room to the upside of the three choices. So I would say, in my opinion, neither. Neither, neither. Steve Brow, what's up, man? Tickle Bear, Ethereum, Nicholas B wants AVAX. Justin Mutrex with Yiffy. David O with the Luna. How you doing, David O? Good to see you, brother. Breezy TRX, man, there's there's a lot of requests today. Where's with this energy, dude? Bile, Algo, Ava. E S S G R T M S T R Algo. Why is XLM so low, so long? Good question. I would assume this thing to do with uh, XRP. And no worries, Jelson B. It wasn't. I'm not like upset or mad. Uh, that's just for you. Rem is from tax authorities. Well, I mean, maybe, but uh, no. In my opinion, it's more you're worried about. I don't know. The internet can be a dangerous place, and. People know when you have a lot of money or something could be not great. So just do yeah, just be aware just for everyone's sake who's listening because lots of people don't think about that, especially when they start. Justin Bond, exactly, dude. Just flaunt your flaunt your Lambos later. You don't need to flaunt your coins now. Let your Lambos do the speaking. Cole's Law has 12 gazillion doll hairs. Well, I know whose house I'm crashing at. NKR. Ooh, dinner's almost ready. Ooh, it's almost ready. KR. What was the winner? What got the most requests? Because food's getting... Food's almost done. Food's almost done. Can one, does one of the mods want to be the... Uh, the determining choice here. What got voted for the most? Alerts are not working. Streamlabs, fix your crap, son. Fix your stuff. Vesemir says Link, so Link it is. What's up, Vesemir? How you doing, bro? How you doing, my man? Good to see you. Good to see you. You're just the rock here. Things change. They come and go, Vesemir is always here. Can always depend on him. Great dude. Uh, apparently we're opening a new chart. Apparently. Okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. Bon, 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 bon. Hmm. Thank you for the weekly. Go. Mm -hmm. K. 
Okay, yeah, pretty strong support. 24, 80. I haven't looked at Link in a while. Getting reoriented. Weekly resistance sitting at $34. We're basically just going to call that weekly and daily. Uh, the all-time high, 36.93. 36.93. Forty-two, fifty-one, fifty would almost certainly be my next upside target. Almost certainly. Psychological. We always look there. <laughs> Possibility of a hundred. Ooh, ooh. Daily's twisting. Twisting. It's not saving my defaults. Daily momentum picking up still. Closing three days ago above the daily 20, and yesterday, in the same day, closing above the 50, retaking it. Currently battling little local resistance here at 3188. Would be great to close above that level. You're right there anyway. Um, RSI is looking good. Looking good. You have plenty of room to the upside here on the daily. Um, you're not showing bearish divergence at this point. Weekly has two days to close, and it is looking to close bullish engulfed. Provided it closes above 2920. Doesn't really seem like a problem. Now here's where it gets a little sketchy. Buying momentum has waned off almost all the way back to selling momentum on the weekly. However, with this candle closing with a bullish engulfing, Retaking the 20 and the 50 on the daily, I think we might be seeing a fake out on the weekly. I think the weekly might be trying to guide us in the wrong direction. I don't trust, I don't trust this. Something about that I don't like in the sense of, I don't think that it's actually about to flip over to selling. I think uh, in the next two days and two hours, we're going to have a pretty good idea. We're either going to move up to test 34 or come back down for the close to 29.2 i think odds are back up to 34 i don't think that uh 2920 is in the cards right now 12 hours looking for a 2050 bullish cross momentum is still increasing no signs of slowing down yet rsi looks decent as well six hour things are getting a little bit more sketchy it still looks strong Still looks strong here. Ooh, yeah, and you have a power setup here. All right, I'm putting the edge with the bulls. Six hours is a nice, powerful setup. You see the 20 just crossing above the 50, the 100, 200. The 50 provided uh, price moves high, uh, moves or continues moving to the upside. The 50 is going to follow suit, and you're going to have all those moving averages just crossing bullish at the same time. I like it. I like this. Like this setup. Virtually everything, virtually every time frame has rolled over in the last few days here. There's no divergence though, which is odd. I guess with the bulls. On the links, I think you're looking to test 34. Likely going to move uh, towards the high to retest it. Break it, I'm looking for 50 right off the bat. Maybe as high as 65. It's a solid two, uh, solid double. I'm going to have to wrap it up here, guys. Dinner is done, and the lady wants me to come eat. 50 to 55. 55 says the, the previous move to the downside. That's probably in a pretty solid target there. 50 to 55, that's 10% range. There's likely to be profit taking there. 
likely to be profit. Um, I think edges with. I don't know the time frame on that, but I think we're going to 50 on link. We're going to 50 on link. Let's check back in here. Him and Ethereum. <laughs> God. It's like, you're just teasing me, man. Just do it. I know you're going to do it. You're going to move up. Just do it while I'm live. Don't wait. Just do it. You're going to do it anyway. Just, just do it. Don't be a biznatch. Just do it. Two, one, three, one. Not really a move from here, but that's a super local target. That's just the likely next step. It's five minute move. There it is. Just do it. There it is. Go. Just do it while I'm live. Go. New all time high. Called it. <laughs> exactly as predicted. Get in your hole. That's right, crypto 420. There we are. Did you guys notice that as soon as I said I'm going to have to go, it did it? As soon as I said it, the like within 30 seconds of saying I'm going to have to go eat dinner, did it. Exactly as predicted. Exactly. Mark Saunders. Do the glasses help with the computer light? It actually helps with the, uh, the lighting in the room for the stream. You get used to it. Bird sales. All right, Drep BTC. Guys, uh, I have to run to dinner, but I'll do, I've seen multiple people say Drep. I think there was a few smaller donations. By the way, guys, we do have a $10 request minimum, just so you guys know. That's uh, one reason we don't always derp. Oops. Uh, one of the reasons we're not always looking at what people ask for. And the reason is not because we're douchey or elitist is... Uh, Simply, when it was $5, God forbid, this was just a chaotic nightmare of constantly, constantly looking at things. Uh, I'm not sure what anyone could possibly TA from this, by the way. <laughs> just looking at it at first, it went from, it just went 100x. This is uh, by far this, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm going to say it. This would be absolutely stupid to buy right now. Absolutely. Unless this is some kind of error. Unless there's something that explains this 100x, which could be, um, I don't know, they burned 90% of the supply, or they did a token switch, now each drep is worth the 100 of them. This would be gibberish to buy right now. Sure, there could be more upside, but you'd be buying something that just went 100x in a day. That's a it's not a good idea. Not a good idea in my opinion. Uh, please, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Um, there's not going to be any TA here. What what kind of gibberish is this? Is there another one? Is this like wrong data maybe? or It's only on Binance. Yeah. What is this? What even is this? I've never in my life seen that on TradingView. What is this? It's like someone murdered the candles. Um, I don't know what I would ever be able to do with this. I don't want to even suggest that it might go up more because then people will buy this. Unless someone can explain to me why this happened in the sense of Something mathematical, guy suggested. Uh, this would be chaos to buy. Please don't, please don't wreck yourself. Um, there's not gonna be any TA to be done here. This does just want a hundred X. Sixteen thousand percent. This is the like definition 
of FOMOing, FOMOing into something if you buy it. Definition. FOMOing is bad, okay? It's bad. Um... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm just gonna move off that chart now. There we go. There we go, Ethy. Sorry, Direct fans. Uh, not saying anything against the coin or anything like that, but dudes, it, it, buying something that's like up a hundred percent is not a great idea. Buying something that's up ten uh, x or a hundred x and hundred x in a day is ludicrous. Ludicrous. Please. If you can't contain yourself, just pick up like a, do what I do. Just grab like a little grab bag, a little lotto ticket. You put like 20 bucks into something, then you walk away. Worst case scenario, you lose 20 bucks. You don't lose sleep over it. I don't know what the food, I don't know what we're having for dinner, but it's ready and I probably should go eat before I have girlfriend aggro. But thank you for asking, JT. Good name, by the way. JT. Yeah, Ethereum. We saw a breakout. There's, there's almost certainly more upside for Ethereum. With all these shenanigans going on. It's highly unlikely that it stops there. All right, I gotta go eat. I don't want girlfriend to aggro. I wanna be a happy person. Happy life. Looked at some good coins today. Looked at some gibberish coins today. We won't be back tomorrow, but we will. Or maybe, maybe, maybe in the morning we'll see what happens, but I doubt it. Um, but we will be back later in the week Guys, check out Patreon still early in the week, or early in the month. Still a great time to sign up. We had a lot of people sign up. The one-on-one -on -one slots are currently taken for this month. They've already been gobbled up in the first few hours. More may open depending on what happens. But there are still other memberships available. Check it out. Make sure you're liked and subscribed. Make sure you're in the Discord. We'll be live again sooner than you know it. Hop in there. And I'll see you guys soon. Love you, fam. Cheers. I hope you have a great Saturday. If I don't see you, round out. Ha! There was a hundred to one swap. I called it without knowing anything about it. In that case, Drep is okay. The hundred and one swap completely satisfies what we saw. It's not up a hundred X. It's not technically up at all. Perfect. Thank you, David, for pointing that out. Awesome.
See you.